Dun dun dun! Black Friday! Actually, I think Black Friday's not even that big of a deal. At least it shouldn't be. I'll explain after the intro. Yeah, okay, so this is gonna be one of the videos where I talk at you. <laughs> Except with actual words. So I was kind of curious to see exactly how we got to this thing that we call Black Friday. So I did what any giant nerd would do and researched it. Please leave your best nerd insult down in the comments. First of all, as somebody who's actually really interested in history, I have to point this out. Around this time of year, you'll probably see some people sharing a story on your Facebook feed. You know, because Facebook's the most reliable source of information, isn't it? About how the term Black Friday has something to do with slavery. That's wrong! The term Black Friday has absolutely nothing to do with slaves. There's literally zero evidence to support this. We've actually been using the term Black Friday for a while to describe a few different things. But the first recorded use of it actually being used to describe the day after Thanksgiving was way back in 1951. I had to go outside for a second, and my transition lens are not transitioning. So, yeah, please ignore that. Anyways, so, yeah, retailers were using this term way back in the early 1950s to describe the wave of employees that they would get calling in sick just so they could get a four-day weekend. Then in the 1960s, cops in Philadelphia started using the term to describe the horrible congested traffic that they would get the day after Thanksgiving because of all the shopping. It was just a general pain in the bootay for them to have to deal with all that stuff, so they were like, Oh my gosh, Black Friday, it was all the traffic and stuff. Bleh. I mean, I can't blame them. Honestly, to me, one of the funniest things about this whole thing is how in the 1980s, a bunch of retailers got together, decided that they didn't like all the negative connotations that Black Friday carried, and they tried to change the name of it. I think this was just mostly in Philadelphia. Anyways, they hired this publicist who tried to get everybody to change the name from Black Friday to... Get this... Big Friday. And nobody cared. I imagine the conversation went something like this. You know, I don't really like the negative connotation that the term Black Friday has. I think if we change the name, we could get more people in our stores. What about Big Friday? No. Get stupid. God. Okay. okay. Dumb. Okay. Idiot. God. Stupid. No smart. Anyways, instead of changing the name, they ended up just trying to change the definition. Instead, retailers started saying something like this. Oh, uh, well, we call it, uh, Black Friday because, um, you know, normally we operate at a loss and we record the loss in red ink, because it's like in the red, you know, that's like the term. And we call it Black Friday because now we're making profit, so we record the profits with black ink. So it's like Black, black Friday because we got profit. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I'm not buying that. Another hilariously contradicting fact is that Black Friday wasn't even the biggest shopping day of the year until 2003, despite the fact that we've been having this since, what, the 50s? And even then, it lost that title in 2004. However, it has been consecutively the biggest shopping day of the year since 2005. Another thing I found out while I was being a giant, complete, and total nerd is the fact that all the violence on Black Friday is just a little bit overhyped. It turns out that since 2006, there have actually only been seven reported deaths on Black Friday. And one of those, I think, wasn't even really due to Black Friday. This, this dude this dude had a heart attack and this, this happened during Black Friday, so I don't know if it was because of Black Friday. It's, it, whatever, anyways. Unfortunately, there have been a lot of stabbings and shootings, so that's... That's not good. That's bad. Okay, well, I've kind of word-vomited a lot of information at you right now, but I would like to point out just one more thing. The fact that Black Friday shouldn't be a big deal. And here's why. Black Friday was kind of constructed by the retail industry, but not for the reasons that you think. See, back in the 80s, people already started to get super hyped up about the big shopping stuff that happens after Black Friday. All the retailers knew that the news people would come out to cover it. Because who doesn't like watching giant hordes of people being selfish, greedy bastards? I mean, it makes for good TV. This is my point. So, knowing that a whole bunch of news people are going to come out and cover that, meaning a lot of people are going to be watching their TVs, means a lot of people are going to be watching advertisements for retailers. I mean, it's basic economics. Things that are scarce are valuable. This psychological phenomenon has actually been known for a while. It's kind of deep, so I won't get into it here. However, I did find this website that'll give you a bunch of information on it. So yeah, the retailers create a false sense of scarcity. The news people come over and cover it. The advertisers get, like, double the amount of coverage that they normally would. And retailers are hoping that that's going to bring in enough people to buy stuff at regular price later on. It's basic economics. So yeah. Nerded out on ya. Sorry about that. I do it sometimes. 
This isn't the normal videos with no point that you would get, but I want to try new things. So... Yeah, okay, bye. Just to reiterate, I think Black Friday is a scam and you shouldn't buy into it. Get it? Buy into it? Huh? Huh? Okay, bye for seriously. First of all, as somebody who's actually very interested in history, I... First of all, as somebody who's actually very interested in... First of all, as somebody who's actually very interest in... interested has three syllables. But the first time somebody used it to describe the day after Thanksgiving was actually a bunch of retailers who would use it to... But the first time that it was used... A lot of words. Anyway, so yeah, retailers were using this term way back in the early 1950s. 50s. There's also more syllables in that one. Then in the 1960s, cops from Philadelphia started using the term to... I'm gonna sneeze. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry.